Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. The sun is doing something funky. I always forget after daylight savings. <laughs> we all say this. It just gets dark so early, and um, yeah, it's very early, and the sun is starting to already make its descent. Anywho, on to happier news. <laughs> We're gonna do something a little bit different. I don't know that we've ever done one of these before. And hopefully you guys enjoy it and it becomes something that we can do on a regular basis. And that is product testing. We're gonna try out something. I'm gonna explain how I found out about it, all that fun stuff in just a minute. But yeah, that's what we're that's what we're gonna do. So let's just let's roll the intro. Welcome back, and yes, it is a product testing it's Tuesday. It's not a Tuesday. Oh, it is when I'm filming this. <laughs> Anywho, in this lovely box from uh, Blick Art Supplies. Sorry, Blick Art Materials. I have a brand new product we're gonna try, and it's for those who don't want to mix their uh, paint and water. Do I have you intrigued? I'm so excited. All right, let's jump into it. Oh, it's getting kind of warm here in the studio. I think I'm also crooked. Not enough for me to change the camera angle, but still, I think I'm slightly crooked. It's fine. So, this lovely paint, Maggie, my lovely other half of Oh You're Lovely, my business partner, found this a while ago and she was playing with it and she was like, I really think you're gonna like this. And then uh, she did a video for me. And it's up over on TikTok. Did you know we have a TikTok? We do. We're, we're everywhere. What can I say? Um, this is not how you show up in a box. I, I, I know this. Do I still do it? Yep. Does it make my mom nervous every time she sees me do it? Also, yes. Oh my gosh. So. The only thing I wish I would have done, and I don't think I did, if I'm looking at these colors, I did not get a metallic color. And I really wish I would have. So I got, as I'm looking, because I forgot what I all ordered. That happens. That's what Maggie has to deal with, me forgetting everything. So I got this color, um, what should we call it? An assorted color set. So we've got in here yellow. Whoa, that was a weird sound yellow, looking a little orangey, but it's yellow, uh, red, turquoise, green, blue, violet, magenta, orange, brown, and black. I'm actually going to play with the black because I have something else that I need black flowers for. So we're gonna do that. And we might as well, since I'm gonna prep so we also have this coral color that looks interesting to me. And actually when I put it up in the sun, it does some fun stuff. So we've got this coral color. We have fuchsia, which is the one I'm gonna use with my black. I'm just fascinated because in the bottles they look so different. And then I also got this blue violet which looks really cool in the bottle. All right, I'm gonna struggle with getting this taken off and then we will dip tie a few flowers, see what we think. So I think we're gonna work with the coral, the black and the fuchsia and I'm going to also pull up magenta, just, just for giggles. Um, and then we'll see how those do and maybe I'll dye more flowers or maybe we'll use these for another time. All right. Let's jump into it. I actually behaving myself and putting something on top of my surface for once. Yes, yes I am. Do I also have a piece of styrofoam foam core board over my window to hide the sun from peeking through? Also yes. <laughs> so the first one I wanna work with is the black because um, I have a special project I need to make by the end of this week using black, black paint. And it'll all make sense. Um, well, as you see this, it'll have already made sense. So, this is high pigmented liquid watercolor. 
Um, you can use it as is or dilute it with water. It should wash out of most fabrics and it's non-toxic. Yeah, and you wanna wash your hands right away after you use it. So, should you wear gloves? Probably. Am I going to? Do not know me at all. All right, so it's kind of thick. It, it, it's actually a lot of thick. I mean, for comparison to like water and paint, um, kind of similar, okay. I'm just wondering how much you could actually use with this. But okay, let's, all right, enough chit chatting. The thing I wanna test out, I wanna see if by using a curled flower, you know, these tend to uncurl. I'm gonna assume they're gonna uncurl as well. Holy, holy saturation. Oh my gosh. Okay. I do need a lot more in here though if I wanna actually get my flowers <laughs> completely immersed. I think I'm gonna grab It's just water, and I'm going to fade out the coloring in there so that I don't have to... Oh, dropped it anyway. Okay, well I guess we're gonna do that on the back side at least. And we'll scoop up some more this way. Oh my gosh, okay. So we're gonna do it as is, straight through in the bottle. Hello, gorgeous. You can't even, wait. That is a lovely Rosa, completely in a wonderful, over the top, very opaque black. I'm excited to see how this dries. Um, a paintbrush. I was like, man, I wish I had a paintbrush. Well, there we go. In the centers of the flowers, there's a little bit where the paint didn't pick up, so I'm just going to smush that around. Okay, so we're going to let that sit. So far, they haven't like completely uncurled. They're standing up a little bit, but not like too terribly. Um, so let's try, this one's really curled. I think this is actually a Paris. I could be wrong though. I'm wrong very often about the names of the flowers, even though most of them <laughs> I name. <laughs> details, nothing but details. Oh my god, it's so pretty. <laughs> okay, it's definitely uncurling. Like, I'm not mad about it. It's still really, really pretty. And then what I'm gonna do is I'll trim off the edges, but you can see it's starting to, hello, uncurl. Um, I'm gonna flip it upside down, and then I'm gonna trim the edges. So it does still uncurl, so you would wanna use like Design Master Spray, but I am going to try it with just a little bit more watered down in a second. I'm also going to try one of these we're going to add glycerin to just because I'm I'm curious. Okay so let's do I'm going to do just a couple more little roses. We'll, we'll see what happens if it, if it comes off or not. I'm glad I have this paper. Um, all right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of water into this next. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this first. And then we're gonna do 50-50 split. The glycerin I'll try out with one of the pink colors because um, the rest of the flowers I'm gonna do black um, are kind of tough flowers on their own, so. All right. Okay, so that's about a 50-50 split. Make a mess, okay. Still pretty dang opaque. Oh my God, and it's drying so beautiful it's like this sorry I'm freaking out over here it's such a pretty matte black that it's drying out oh my god hold it together Stephanie hold it together I'm so excited it's so pretty and I definitely think you can water some of this stuff down and it's not like you're gonna be able to stretch your paint 
and still get a very opaque color. You'd have to water this down quite a bit to really start to lighten up the color. So super, super, um, like, I, no, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm, I'm so excited, I can't speak anymore. You can, it stretches every, like the, the options, the, it's limit, limitless. I don't even know what to say. I'm so excited, because you can take this and then thin it out, and thin it out, and thin it out, and have a beautiful variation of the same color, but like different tones to it. There you go. Um, this one is the first one that I can definitely see a little bit of a difference in the color but not enough for me to be like, not happening. Just to, yeah, that one's kind of a mess. I'm gonna have to trim that one up. But here's one that I just dyed that's watered down. So you can kind of see there's a slight difference, but still, freaking A. Freaking A, I'm loving that. All right, oh, let's see how they do against bark. So I've got, I believe this is Twinkle. Or a sparkle. One of the two. And it's got some bark in the center. So we're gonna see how it covers the bark. Typically with craft acrylic paint, after it dries, it comes off. As of right now, it's sitting on top of the bark. You can see what I'm talking about at the the tip or the end of the flower. Do you see that bark? The brown is coming through. I'm just dripping a whole bunch of paint onto my floor. That's actually a carpet there. Good job, Stephanie. Way to, way to win. <laughs> it's actually covering quite a bit of the bark. The, um, the stem at the bottom, not so much, but um, it has changed the color. Let me find a like, bark bark flower. I'm, I'm interested to see what happens. Let's see here. This is making a really fun two-toned effect that's a little bit different as of right now than what I see with craft acrylic paint. So we're gonna let it fully dry. I think, I can't tell from what you're seeing on camera. In my, in person, I can see a two-tone shift happening. On camera, it almost looks like it's just solid black right now, but I can promise you in real life it's not. So we're gonna let those dry. Um, I didn't separate the watered down versus the um, straight paint ones. I know which ones I did though. So I'm just gonna separate those a little bit in my container. But here's the black flower so far. Holy cow. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands and we're gonna move on to all of the fuchsia coral magentas. I'm so excited. All right, I've got more paper laid out so that some of the black hopefully doesn't seep through. My hands, I did not go wash them with soap and water. I just kind of washed them up with a wet wipe. So they're, they're, I'll let you know. I'll let you know afterwards if we're completely stained or not. All right, so I think Maggie had used fuchsia and it was amazing. Um, let's try magenta for right now. Oh my God, that's like electric. Oh my God, it's electric. Should I start dancing? Holy buckets. I could see putting, I've got a little bit of black on my fingers, putting a little bit of black in there too. Yes. Oh, it looks so pretty on my fingers too. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Alrighty, I'm definitely watering this down. It's a little, it's a little too vibrant for me. I know, I can't believe I said it either, but I did. It came out of my mouth just as is. This is a Sophia. Now I have black on my fingers and it's picking up on the edges of the, the petal and I'm, I'm digging it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really, really digging it. It's actually though giving like almost a purple tone because I think there's, I don't, 
I'm not sure what all colors they were using to create the watercolor black, but all right, so there is a very, that is, what did I say that we were using? Magenta, that is magenta, holy, holy buckets. Okay, so I'm going to, might as well, we'll get into the fuchsia and we'll see what the coral does too. They are a little slippery suckers when they're <laughs> they moving and grooving all over the place. They're slippery little suckers. Oh my gosh. And they're messy. Holy buckets. This is messy. So that is not the color I'm going for for the project that I have, but holy buckets is that pretty. So that was again the mm, fuchsia. No. Yeah. Wait. Is that fuchsia or was that magenta? Now I'm getting them all confused. That was this one, which is fuchsia. Magenta, hot pink, fuchsia, a beautiful red. So let's see what this coral does. And then I'm going to probably mix and match a couple of these together to try to get to the, the pink tone. Like I'm loving that magenta, but it, it's a little, little extra, extra. Okay, my coral didn't have a little stopper or it didn't stop the stopper. Okay, so this has a similar look as the fuchsia. Like a little bit of a lighter red. So let's see, we'll take a smaller flower. Yeah. So, also a really pretty red. I don't know that I would consider this to be a coral though. So there's the two. We'll see how these dry. Um, I'm definitely gonna water these down. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the coral and we're gonna take our magenta. We're gonna mix those in. And then I've got, I got just a little bit of yellow. Why? I don't know. I just, I feel like I should add that in there. So I'm going to add that. And then I'm going to put a whole bunch of water in here. Pretty. And this has a much more like diluted soft color to it because we put so much water in there. Also where it dries, like if we leave little dry or wet spots on it, it's going to dry with these like two tone effects on it depending on where the um, paint itself dries. But there, so that was a combination of a whole bunch of stuff basically, but from there to like here. I still think I'm gonna take that fuchsia and turn it into something else too. But we'll grab a couple of these because I want, I need some pink flowers. Oh my God. And this is gonna fit that ticket like next to, oh, shut the front door. I'm gonna come back in 24 hours after they dry. Oh shoot, son of a gun. You know what? No, I'm not going anywhere. Hold on. We've got to try it with glycerin. So let's do a test with some glycerin. Um, give me two seconds to get things kind of set up and then we'll try them with glycerin. All right, I'm still like a full on mess, but I still want to use, why don't we do, hmm, let's do the magenta again. We'll do it as is full concentration because those other flowers are going to be, um, already pretty soft because it's a lot of water to paint ratio so there's not a lot of stuff sitting on top of the wood flower so we're just gonna oh that's fun we're gonna add a little dab of glycerin into this mix I'm not gonna add any water to it so it does take a decent wow this is gonna blind me is it blinding you guys? It's so bright. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so bright. All right, so I'm gonna kinda clean up some of the inside petals as this opens up a little bit. Make sure we get all of that 
I don't have any cream popping through because it'll show through like nobody's business with how bright this flower is. I am also going to spray it down with a little bit of water to get some of the paint that's sitting in those petals to kind of get out of there. Oh my god. <laughs> takes messiness to a whole nother level, I feel like. It's kind of sitting in there. This is definitely a different textile, tech, tech, textural, tactile experience than when you're painting with the uh, craft acrylic paint. So if like textures bother you, you might want to wear gloves for this. Because it's kind of got a little slightly slimy feel to it. All right, so I'm gonna let that one sit. Boy, is that a pretty color, but it's so bright. Um, I'm gonna let that sit and then we'll do the crunch test on like all of the rest of the flowers that I'm working with along with then doing a crunch test on the American Beauty to see if glycerin's even needed for this kind of thing. All right, I'm gonna try to go clean my hands. I'm gonna, well, why am I even doing this? I still have all those other flowers to dye. I don't know, it's out of habit. So um, yeah, okay. <laughs> I might have uh, pinkish purple hands for the next couple of days. Uh, I'll also let you know uh, after, and this is really pretty down here too. I maybe need to keep this to do some sort of artwork with. Yep, I'm, I'm, I'm that person, I'm totally that person. All right, I'm gonna finish dyeing these. I'll be back, as I almost fall over, in about 24 to 48 hours and let you know how everything turned out. All right, you guys, we've waited 24 hours. The flowers are fully dry. I have a lot of thoughts, actually. I also made a huge mess. <laughs> maybe we'll, maybe we can show um, the, the um, aftermath of what happened while I was trying to film a TikTok. Did you know we're on TikTok too? We are, we are. And as I was filming a TikTok, I made a, a big old mess. So hopefully we'll get that playing as I'm as I'm, as I'm talking. All right, so. <laughs> All right, overall, freaking in love. Still freaking in love. Um, there's definitely a uh, kind of a, a hump to go over when it comes to figuring out the right balance of colors because these are, these are vibrants. And by the end, I was mixing all kinds of colors and coming up with all kinds of fun stuff. So let's break some of this down. Um, I do not feel that glycerin is needed. Um, a lot of them held their shape really well as far as not completely uncurling. The only one that full on uncurled, so this one kind of started to uncurl a little bit. So what I would do in this situation, oh, let me get my small scissors, hold on. So can you see that one petal is standing upright? We've done this before too. I would just, well, in all honesty, this one, because of where it's placed, I would just tear this off. Um, I, I would, i just cut, tear, all that. You're none the wiser to that one. But for the black one that had really come undone, I did um, just trim different spots to um, keep it kind of in a curled shape. The only thing when you do that is you're gonna wanna go back over with a paintbrush and just touch up the ends. Now this was a full black, um, no watered down. Interesting thing about the black in particular, let's talk about that for a minute and then we'll come back to the um, do you need glycerin. I had done a couple where it was straight dip dyed in and then watered down. There's definitely a difference when you water it down. The interesting thing about the black in particular, and I don't notice it with all of the pink tones, is it has a metallic finish to it. Do you see that? It almost is like a velvet. It's really cool. It's not nearly as saturated when it was being dip dyed versus um, now that it's fully dried, it's definitely lost some of that, but it's still a really good option. Um, here it is 
on a bark flower. Do you see that metallic sheen? Blows my mind. In comparison, some of the lighter colors, the bark pretty much took no color whatsoever. So um, it's gonna kind of repel off that bark. This one held its shape really well. Now the other fun thing I did at the end, because I needed a little glitter in my life, was I took this Glitterific from Folk Art. It's really thick and goopy. Um, what I did first was I mixed a little bit of it actually in my paint. This has already been watered down and then just dunked the flower in. But then on top of it, what I did was with a paintbrush, grabbed a little bit more of this and just painted it directly onto the flower and then let it dry. And now we've got a glitterific flower. Actually, I have three of them. I like to do this technique with flowers that have a wider petal on them so that I can really get my glitter up on there and give me a good bang for my buck, so to speak, versus like a tightly rolled flower. Now the ones with the glitter are a little bit crunchier. So um, I would probably add some glycerin into those. Now this was the flower I added glycerin into. Fun fact, it still feels wet. It feels very soft and very wet, but the rest are all dry. So I'm not sure if it's wet or if it's just the glycerin. Um, and if I'm gonna have to let it sit for a little bit longer, if it's taking a longer time to dry. The rest are, I mean, they've got a little like noise to them when you rustle them, but they are not cracking or breaking. Um, and they're also holding their shape pretty dang well. So that one, again, I would just, none the wiser. Here's that coral color again. Still thrown off by the color names of some of these. And here's a two-toned one that I had done. So, I'm really, really loving this. Um, now, oh, hands. This is a day after. Look at how many nails I've lost this last round. Uh, my hands did stain. Uh, maybe we can show that video too, or not. I'm not sure. But, or maybe just a picture of what my hands were. They were fully purple, um, saturated all over. Uh, black, purple, and like pink. It was weird because the black turned to almost purple on my hands. I don't know what's going on. But um, I scrubbed my hands quite a bit with uh, warm water and soap multiple times, probably three or four really deep scrubs. Um, and I still have some paint on my hands today. Uh, it'll probably take till about tomorrow for it to fully um, get off of my skin. So um, if you don't... If you don't care, it's fine. But if you don't want your hands to be stained a funky color for a couple of days, you might wanna wear gloves if you're gonna use this. Um, let's just look. So I know I felt like I was pouring a lot into those containers, but the line of actual liquid is right about here that is still remaining in this bottle. So again, these are eight ounces is what I had gotten. I won't quote prices just because prices are always changing on the websites, but um, yeah, so this one was the coral. I didn't use a lot of that one, which, oh, this is the one I used probably the most of, yep, is the magenta. So I used, and I still have a decent amount left and I've been mixing colors. I don't know how long they're gonna like stay and last, but I would assume if you didn't do anything to them, they're gonna last a decent amount of time in a sealed container as well. So um, I, I feel like a little bit goes a long way and then if you water it down, a uh, little bit goes even longer with that. So I'm really loving these. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you try this out, I'd love to know how it goes for you. Um, if you've used it before in the past and love it or hate it, let me know. Um, I'm gonna be definitely using these more often because it's one less step. And I mean, it's already pretty easy to just put a little bit of paint and a little bit of water, but you know right out of the container the color you're going to get. Um, and there's a little bit of fun in the experimenting of trying to change the colors you want. I am going to try their metallics next. I'm really excited about it, especially just based off of the black and how already kind of a metallic sheen it has and it's so pretty in person. Um, I'm really excited to see what the metallic dyes look like as well for those fun pops of 
a little uh, unexpected metallic in a in a piece. So there is that. Do you love these uh, product testing videos? Let me know that as well. Should we do more of these? Um, and if yes, what product, art supply, glue, any of that stuff, what would you like to see next? And we'll definitely get it up on the docket. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining. Uh, if you'd like, check us out over at ohyourlovely.com where we carry 150 plus style solo wood flowers along with craft supplies and greenery. And if you're new around here and wanna give the flowers a try or the rest of the stuff I just rambled off, I've got a coupon for you. I do, because I'm just lovely like that. 30% off your first order. Use the code YouTube30 to get that coupon. All right, I think, I think that's it. I'll double check the top. <laughs> this one wasn't probably ideal for Phil being so close. Okay, um, you guys have a great day. We'll see you super soon. I'm Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.